right back in there. All right. Well, I got there's a few viewers hanging out. I appreciate you guys watching this uh, this afternoon or whatever time it is where you guys happen to be. Um, I want to hear like people's favorite Super Nintendo games. Did you grow up playing Super Nintendo? And if so, do you have a game that you fondly remember? Because I'm on that mission to play through all these Super Nintendo games that I owned. But if you have a strong, <laughs> like, if you have a good recommendation, I would love to hear it. Um, I don't know if my stream died. Maybe someone else can tell me in chat. It looks like we're still live. And I see your message. Somebody in... Oh my gosh, what are we doing? Okay, there we go. I think we're still going. Still got the little live icon down there. I can double check after this level on Twitch. stream timer reset. Huh. Weird. Must have had... Well, I do have that stream protection enabled. We're... we're uh, we've been going longer than a minute 30. <laughs> well, I apologize for that, but I think, I think we're going again, even if it reset. Um, we're working with Xfinity Internet. Uh, which has proven unreliable. Could you imagine if you were Dixie Kong in that situation, just watching your face being impaled on that stinger? I think it's kind of terrifying. Um, looks like we're going again. We're going to give it a hot, a hot peek here, just to make sure. Live troubleshooting. Double check here. Yeah, you're right, it does say 2 minutes and 20 seconds, but we are going. Um, I don't know if they're throttling my connection. I'm not really skeptical that they are. I think it's more like we have gotten the occasional... We traded blows on that, I didn't much appreciate that. We've gotten the occasional just like drops for our internet. Um, in a way that's been unreliable. It's not the first time we've disconnected. But we're back. Um, their upload speed also, yeah, I mean, this this stream is clearly not sponsored by Xfinity, by the way. Uh, their upload stream is also hot garbage for me, which, um, we just don't have a lot of other options in my area, my neck of the woods, if you will. Um, so we're working with, we're working with what we got. I would love to have better upload speed. So if you're looking at the stream and it's a little pixely, if we're not paying attention. We're talking about Xfinity being a butt. We're gonna we're gonna lose it. We're gonna lose a Kong. Um, okay, we gotta just really go for it, don't we? The timing on that is just so tight. Woofda. Um, we'll get it though. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Buff Manly. <laughs> you didn't even get me the first time. That was the animal that got me. You're just riding off of his fame. That was epic burn that he got on me. <laughs> to be fair, it was really funny. <laughs> when I said that, that, for those of you that didn't see it, um, the boss of one of the earlier worlds, uh, Cludgel, I think his name is. Please don't hit that B again, thank you. Um, he, I know we didn't get the DK coin. I know we got hit there. I know. Um, Cludgel kind of just hops around, and he... Uh, <laughs> he said he doesn't do much, and then he just destroyed me. It was it was one of those pro gamer moments. All right, so familiar place for us. We're up here, and we have just Dixie Kong.
Honest to gosh, you guys. Okay. Let's give it another whirl here. I would love to get up there with both Kongs intact. <laughs> You've heard that you really got to go for it there? I don't know who would have said that. That doesn't seem like something I would say. My timing is all sorts of backwards with this now. is good. Okay. Okay. We're focused. So the timing on that's not as rough. The timing up here is where we're having a bit of a problem. But the good news is we get another Kong here. I just have to not lose this Kong before we get up there. And I know that's a good B to lose a Kong on. And we've only been to this part once with both Kongs, and then I immediately lost one of them. So, we're dialed in here. Laser focus. still going. This stage, I tell ya. I can't take it seriously the way that Dixie Kong is riding the wind up like this. And apparently squawks existed somewhere. <laughs> He went for it. He got the G. He had the N. <laughs> he was definitely... We, well, we did so well in that level that we just crashed the whole stream again. <laughs> this time I was aware that it went down. Um, I got a bone to pick with Xfinity, let me tell you. They're going to hear from my representative. All right. Hi, welcome back. Uh, if you're just joining us, we uh, finally beat Windy Well after a dozen or so tries. It's really going to just cut up this live stream into a bunch of different uh, bunch of different fods it'll be great we'll figure it out um, all right we're entering like I think some of the harder levels as evident by um, the windy whatever the heck you call it but this one's great we'll just uh, ride it up. It is cool that um, a lot of these levels in this last world are like vertically oriented to match the map. Because if you notice the map before we entered the level, it's very much a vertical climb. Look at that K, that's not that hard for us to grab. And hopefully we don't have any more uh, hiccups here. grab those. Speaking of hiccups, last weekend I had the hiccups for three hours. I don't recommend it. It's not a fun time. In case anyone was thinking of getting the hiccups. I see that coin. I think there was a secret at the beginning of the level that we missed. Instead we're just going to collect all these porcupines. We're going to drop these frames. 
Yeah, I don't have a barrel, so I can't get into that secret there. Yeah, we missed uh, we missed Rambi earlier on somewhere. Okay, cutting a little close there. Well, I guess we're just gonna hang out. Get a little stretch break in. There it is. <laughs> Oof, duh. The power of the Super Nintendo. I think I was supposed to roll through those guys. I don't know why I tried to jump over them. <laughs> That's alright, though. Got the checkpoint. That's called progress. You know, we made some progress. <laughs> it's great timing, though. Do you think that those Kremlings knew that they were going to be squished? And they did it anyway for the greater good? A little, like, ritual sacrifice on their part? <laughs> oh, there's the N. Whoopsies. There's a lot of well-placed uh, secrets in this particular level that I have not been finding at all. But the important thing is that we're making it to the top. The real secrets are the friends we made along the way. That's not at all how that saying goes. Yeah, just a bunch of suicidal animals, really, honestly. Okay. Some neckies. I hear you. Oh. Shake that one off. That one's a little rough. Okay. We're not going to lose one of our Kongs right away like we did last time. We almost absolutely lost one of them. <laughs> Okay, I was going to say we just have to take it slow, but we're really not in control of the speed that we're going at. Uh, the elevator of doom beneath us is. Let's get the N. We don't have the O. What am I doing? Okay, go this way. Let's sacrifice Diddy Kong first if we get hit. I would rather have Dixie Kong in case we get into any other trouble. Well, yeah, appreciate everybody watching this afternoon. I know you could be watching GDQ where there's actual talent. <laughs> We're just going back and reliving some nostalgia. We're doing okay, though. Um, or any other number of streams. So the fact that you guys are hanging out, really appreciate it. Let's not get hit here. Okay, much better that time. This is good. If we, <laughs> they really just tempt us with uh, the DK barrel. Okay, we don't even need it. Oh, hello. There's the G. Doesn't do anything for us. All right. Well, how do we? That's not what I wanted. This level, you guys, I tell ya, a little unforgiving. We knew it was coming, though. We have plenty of lives. Part of the problem is I want to... <laughs> just always so supportive. I always appreciate the supportive comments. I'm 
the problem actually is that when you push Y to run, you do a little, you know, you do your spin attack, right? So there's a little bit of a delay there. So if I want to jump, I can't push Y and then jump because you see there's like a little bit of a delay. I'm not saying I didn't mess up because I definitely did. But I'm saying that there is a bit of a mechanics issue. What am I doing? I want to get rid of the Diddy Kong again first, just in case. Okay. We got this part down. And this part where they just uh, tease us with the allure of another monkey. Trying to stay laser focused. We're trying not to say anything that Twitch chat would throw back in our face. Like, wow, this part's really easy, or I'm great. <laughs> Frick this part. <laughs> yeah, there are two buttons. There are two buttons and a flurry of enemies that want a dispatch of us. Yeah, okay, that would have been... It did miss the bananas. You know what? I'm out. I missed some bananas. It's okay. <laughs> All right, we got Clapper's Cavern, and then I think after that we got uh, what I think is the hardest level in the game. The uh, the snake climb with the acid. Hopefully this level's not too bad. I was about to say this level's not hard, but I don't remember. And I don't want those to be my famous last words. Miss the bananas. You miss the bananas. Okay, this is a problem for us. We gotta go fast. Okay. Secrets? Nope. Some delicious bananas over there. Sure. I probably should have gone to the left first. There's probably a bonus stage or something. He's doing it. Oh, he's really doing it. Here's the G. Oop. They put that G in that spot knowing exactly what they did. Now we gotta bounce off of this guy, take the slow way. That's gonna be a problem. Yeah, there's a bunch of coins down there. Those coins don't really do anything for us, though, so we're not that interested. All right. I didn't even want it. We'll get an extra life just by collecting all the bananas. Yeah, okay. What a slide. Okay, we're in and out. That was pretty quick. Sun setting behind me. It's getting dark. I actually think I lied. I think maybe this isn't the 
in the snake level. We got one more. Great. Okay. Just climbing. Just doing some monkey things. I think most of our hits have just come from me not paying as much attention as I should. Like that. What is he hiding over here? Okay. The race one? That's, yeah, he might be right. We'll see. Oh, frick you. I feel like at least the race one, you're like in and out. I feel like this one, I don't know if we needed that barrel or not. And by barrel, I mean uh, cannonball. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that is the race one. Did we get the did we get the K? Definitely not. Just really testing our memory on this one. Look at these bees. Get out of here. That bee wasn't even there. He just appeared out of nowhere. Okay. I'll go the way that the bananas are pointing me. Look at that. If I didn't even check that spot out. Okay, well we'll pretend that we didn't get hit there. <laughs> These vertical levels, they're rough. Nothing over there for us, okay. <laughs> Gotta race these bees. The bees. The bees, oh, hello. This. <laughs> Oh my god, come on. <laughs> Be one with the Kong. I'm trying. Fantastic. Oh, jump, jump, Dixie, jump! Jump! <laughs> oh man, they really set you back too in this one. This this level. Okay. This part, no problem. Go grab Diddy. Okay. Mash and B, mash and B. I'm really not excited about this part. <laughs> okay, I think going down is the safe route. Okay. I don't the problem I think with the this these levels are that the chains just don't feel very good. Okay. Uh, we are absolutely going to go back and fix that mistake. Okay. Jump, 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 jump. Jump some more, keep jumping, they're gaining on you. Okay. Whatever. Oop. Oh. 
I bet we could just climb through this part, but you know what? We've come so far. That guy will instantly take some of my lives from me. I do remember him. Actually, we probably should have kept going that way now that I think about it. Oh well. We made it out! Alright. Toxic Tower. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. This one... <laughs> Missed secret. I'm aware. I'm aware. <laughs> Almost died to the poison right away. This one's just like, have you mastered the snake mechanics? And I thought I remembered it being the toughest one. I would gladly like to be wrong. And assume we've already played the hardest ones. But I also do know that that last Bramble Scramble or whatever the heck it's called. I don't think it's called that. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I was saying in an earlier level that the snake actually controls better than you might think. Um, but when you're up against like this this timer, which is the uh, the poison, not crazy about it. Do you get all the companions here? No, that's animal antics. That one's in a secret world, which if we do, probably won't be tonight. We'll see. Actually, no, you're totally right. You're right. You remember this game better than I do. Animal antics, you also get all the animals in, I think. I had forgotten about this part of the level completely. Ooh, okay. I didn't know I was an, an expert who was amongst us. Whatever I'm trying to say. Video games, am I right? Look, Mom, I'm playing video games. Where's Buff Manly? He's missing the nuts. Nut spitting. <laughs> if there's one thing that you can be trusted for, it's showing up right in time for the nuts. Okay. I know that that poison is like right behind me, and everyone's least favorite animal for vertical movement. Puff loves his nuts. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that piece of cake. Piece of cake. Let's see if we can't turn on a light around here. Oh, that doesn't really do much of anything, does it? All right, you guys, we made it. The Stronghold Showdown. I, um, I have started a character on your server in New World. Um, I've just been struggling to figure out what I want to do with it, or I'm not like playing at the same time you guys are, so yeah, we'll figure it out. We got to see Donkey Kong for a hot minute there, and we're on our way to the Flying Crocs. Screech's Sprint. We'll be playing most this evening. When I'm done here, I'm not going to be around the rest of the evening, unfortunately. Um, you're tired of carrying these fools? I honestly don't think I played enough New World to even... Okay. What is the start of this level? Hold on a second. Um, I don't think I've played enough of New World to even do like any of the actual like dungeons or anything. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. is like not even worth what just happened there.
I know there was a cannonball back there, but we we're focused on um, wrapping up this this level. Which, like, wh what's the point of this level? It, <laughs> I don't understand. So was this guy also hired by K. Rule to, like, race us? And if we don't beat him, we die? Okay, well, he's just a big old cheater back there, isn't he? Ah, frick. You don't even get to hear Bramble Blast in this level. <laughs> I mean, for like a hot second. <sighs> okay. Like we were saying in the last couple times we heard Bramble Blast, they put it in the levels that they know are going to be the most annoying. But then instead we get this song, which doesn't even feel like it belongs in this game. There we go. A couple of good nut shots, please. It's not quite what I wanted, but it's good. Trust the process. Trust the nuts. Ow. Oh man, we were doing so well. This level, this level. <laughs> All right. We go a little, little nice, calm, relaxing bramble blast music, and then into whatever the heck this is. We're focused. We're laser focused. That's right. I forgot about that part. That's some bad damage. Speaking of laser focused. really close. We almost took ourselves out there. Beautiful, beautiful nut usage on that one. <laughs> Buff Manly would be proud. Okay. Head hot, uh, head, hot head bop is a good bop. Um, my favorite's Forest Interlude. It's peaceful, and it's usually found in levels that aren't also aggressively annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's like hauntingly beautiful. I'll take it even with the spooky goose noises doing their thing. I really wish I didn't get hit early on. I feel like I'm Again, laser focused. That's the kiss of death right there. We've jinxed it. <laughs> Got hit in that same spot again. Is that is the ooh and the ah supposed to be the ghost noises? Sounds like the ghost noises. I think I also have like the bass turned up too loud on my headset right now because this song is like rattling my headset.
That's slow. That was a slow nut shot. Okay, we can't bonk our head on this this time. There we go. Look at that tiny little space they give you. First place, bananas, boombox, first try, <laughs> maybe. Thank you, thank you. One coin to save my game. <laughs> All right. The only thing that stands between us and victory is the K. Rule duel. The easier of the two K. Rule fights in this game. Um, he just <laughs> gotta love his ambition to just like shoot those cannonballs at uh, Donkey Kong. Grabbing some coffee. Can respect the late night coffee over there. I don't remember this fight very well either. I do recall some goober nonsense about like the pink and blue smoke that he shoots out. Yeah, I do remember the, the reverse control blob. We did it. We saved him. Just kidding. There we go. Oh, and he also turns invisible at one point, too, I think. Was Nintendo branded bananas behind him? Miyamoto's gonna be pissed! <laughs> what a weird boss fight. Okay. We're doing okay so far. Almost got hit by that. <laughs> Come on, Donkey Kong. Get it together. Let's do this. Ow. That's not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. We have that barrel there. We're just testing some things out. Ah, that's rough. We really want to have Dixie Kong here, I think, so we can just avoid a lot of that nonsense that he starts hitting us with here. Oh my god. What was that? What was that? I don't remember that. <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> okay. Okay. 
It's a bold move doing the regular coffee, but something I can respect. Okay. Got that first phase down. We're going to get that extra hit here. He's going to be busy. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad I can provide you with a decent distraction. Okay. He's going to take off. We're going to do some hopping over him. Go under that one. Don't want to monkey around with that one. Over, under. And enjoy that. There you go. Have fun. All right, we got one more phase in this round. Which is the weird one. He's got some sick curve on these. Okay. The double cannon shot. Here we go. Enjoy that cannonball. Okay, so I feel like this is the part where I would like to have Dixie out. Because she can just float over those, and I don't have to monkey around with those either. These puns are completely intended. There we go. Okay. Yep, bold strategy there is just to not even entertain the idea of trying to time those weird jumps or anything. I'm assuming it's intended. Okay. doing here? I don't remember this part of the fight at all. Okay, there we go. Did we do it? Did we do it? All right, Donkey Kong's here to take the glory. <laughs> Can't help but feel like we did all the work. That's all right, though. Right into the water with you. I knew you'd do it, Diddy, my boy. But how could you fail, having learned all you know from old Cranky here? We did not visit Cranky once. I want the record to show you've rescued that lazy grandson of mine and dumped K. Rule in his own filthy swamp. Not bad for a novice. Look at that giant Super Nintendo controller behind him. Of course, if I'd have been playing, I'd have made sure that K. Rool never tries a cheap trick like that again. This is good. I like 90s video games. Debate, uh, just berate you. I'd reckon I'd found all the creme coins and completed the so-called Lost World. Oh well, can't expect everything from your first game, can we? One more thing. How many of my special video game hero coins did you find? A real player such as myself would have found plenty, I'm sure. Let's see how well you did, eh? I don't I didn't do that well. I'm just gonna Oh yeah, we didn't even rank. Well I've got a second screen and about time two now. Shut up everyone while I read the eagerly awaited results of my pre prestigious video game hero awards. Okay, I'm not Look, it's good, I beat it in like under three hours. <laughs> Okay. Okay. If you want to look at your limited progress on this screen, press the top left and right buttons while you are on any of the map screens. What? So you mean like L and R buttons? So how do we... There's like a cheat, right, for getting all of the, um, the creme coins? So 
so it's... We'll just let the credits roll for a moment. <laughs> okay, don't collect the bananas. We're like doing some on-screen reading here, so... <laughs> Hopefully I read this right. We'll give it a try once uh, once we roll through the credits here. Yeah, no, it's fun going back to Donkey Kong Country 2. Um, music, two thumbs up. Level design, it's harder than Donkey Kong Country 1 for sure. Big problem is the bonus levels. There's just so many of them. It's so distracting and it really kind of interrupts the flow of the game. Which is a bummer, because otherwise I think it's a fun game. Um, I mean, they incentivize you to find the secrets, right? It's it's worth it for the Krem coins to get those secret levels. So I think from that perspective, it is better than Donkey Kong Country 1, which is just like, how about some more extra lives? We don't really actually know what to do, other than continue to hand you these extra lives. So if we look at it from that perspective, I think that Donkey Kong Country 2 is definitely better than Donkey Kong Country 1. Um, at some point we'll play through Donkey Kong Country 3, and we'll see. Because um, in my mind, you disagree that Donkey Kong Country 2 is better than 1? That's fair. 1 is certainly like more streamlined, I think. Um, in my mind, I like 2 better than 3 as well, but I don't know if that's going to hold up or not. I'm excited to take a look at 3. 3 is the best, okay. Yes, we can all agree to disagree at times. The barnacled bosses. I do like the, the bosses in this. <laughs> the bosses in this game I think are more creative. I stand by what I said earlier about Cleaver. I want to know his origin story, I want to know why. He wanted Diddy Kong and Dixie Kong to pay. King Zing, that boss, uh, just hitting him in the butt with the nuts. Yeah, Cleaver's like the most out of place enemy, I think, maybe in this entire game. He It looks like he has an origin story, like Excalibur, but in the Donkey Kong universe. And it's probably because everybody else is some sort of animal, except for him. He's a sentient sword. Rattly. Squitter. With his eight tennis shoes. Clapper just uh, moonwalking his way across that platform. Buff Manley's favorite squawks. Glimmer. i surprised he even gets a credit. What about the purple squawks? Does he not get a different credit? Is he the same? We did not visit Funky Kong once. We were not interested in paying him to travel around. Spoiler alert for Donkey Kong Country 3, Wrinkly Kong does not live long enough <laughs> to see it. But she is a part of that game still. Appreciate them using that sprite for Donkey Kong. And the heroes, Dixie Kong and Diddy Kong. <laughs> All right, the scurvy Kong crew. There's no way to speed this up, it doesn't look like. So we'll just let it go for a second. Yeah, so I think Donkey Kong Country is fine. It's OK. It's fun to play through. It's quick. Um, you know, and having played a small handful of platformers recently, it takes a lot to get the platforming to feel right. Obviously, this game is what inspired SOT, Sea of Thieves. Is that what SOT is? Sea of Thieves, the other side-scrolling platformer. <laughs> um, having played things like Dino City recently, I 
it's one of, that's one of those games that um, holds up better in your head than it does in actual practice. So playing something like that and then going to Donkey Kong Country 2 feels good when you play Donkey Kong Country. It has it's snappy, it's quick. The only knock I'll give it for like the the gameplay feel, I almost said mouth feel, but I'm not putting this game in my mouth, is the sprites are sometimes it's hard to figure out where those hitboxes are, I think. Which has led to, you know, some incidental hornet poking. Mr. Lincoln. Thank you, Mr. Lincoln. I wonder what these people are up to today. What year did this game come out? I think the cartridge says 9192, but I think that's the patent for the cartridge itself. There it is. Don't question why we're able to play this game while I'm holding the cartridge in my hand. I own it though, so it's okay. Produced by Rare, presented by Nintendo. The end.